Hey everyone, this is Aisha of Alive Designs by Aisha and welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, it has been so long since I did a chit chat with y'all. So I decided to come here today and just sit down and just talk and just say happy 2021. I hope everyone is having an awesome 2021. Um, we all know that last year, 2020 was um, a challenge for a lot of people. Um, and this year, 2021, we're believing it to be a great year. Um, so today's chit chat is going to be about vision. It's going to be about, um, just being patient and waiting, you know, just believing God for your vision, taking action on what it is that you're believing for, um, and just enjoying this 2021. All right. So, um, for the ones who are new to my channel i have some new subscribers and i just want to say thank you so much um on my channel you will see event decor and designs you will see balloon designs you will also see tablescapes and what i'm going to be adding in 2021 it's just not going to be all the time but i'm going to be adding some diys um i'm doing some kind of like some remodeling here in my home um so i'm going to be bringing to you some of those things also and i'm also going to be doing some diys when it comes to my event decor all right, so I wanted to just share those things with you, um, but all those things will be coming up later. Um, another thing is I will be having a channel uh, name change to my channel, which will probably be um, about the end of this month, um, going into February. This is something that I was going to do before the pandemic. Actually, uh, December of 2019, um, around the 1st of 2020, I was going to go ahead and change my name. But when the pandemic hit and the schools were out and everything, that was the last thing on my mind. All right. So, um, I just decided to go ahead and get it done this year. Um, and, um, everything I'm still in the process of getting some things done with that. So, like I said, by the end of this month, the 1st of February, my name will be changing here on my channel as well as all of my other social media. All right. So, for the ones who are new to my channel, I thank you all so much. Um, and I hope that you uh, enjoy the content. And for the ones who've been here a long time, uh, thank you all so much also. I appreciate you. Um, so what today's video is going to be about, I'm going to go ahead and show you, uh, my vision board for the ones of you who have been here for a while, you know, that I've been doing a vision board for years. Um, I actually call it the believing board, but most people know about vision boards. So I'm going to say vision board. And, um, I've been doing one ever since my very first one is started out on writing on just actual notebook paper. I had a piece of notebook paper and I had a pen. And um, I wrote I wrote down what what it is that I wanted God to do in my life. All right. And one thing I just want to let you all know about a vision board is that it's your vision. It's what you are believing for. Believing for something takes action. You know, we can sit here and we can write things down all day, every day on a piece of paper or a board and I'm going to show you um, my vision board from last year this is my 2020 vision board from last year right here okay now a lot of things that I put on this board from last year and I'm looking down at it because it's right here a lot of things that I put on my my board last year um, did not come to pass um, and I'm not going to fault 2020 and what happened in 2020 for it because it was me you know i did not take the believing action that i should have in order to bring these things that i had put on my board to pass um we all know that god provides and he always opened doors and make a way but it's left up to us as the individual to take action on whatever it is that we what we are believing for all right, so in the video that I put up last year, the 2020 vision board, my very first vision board party with me and my friends, um, there was one of my friends there and she was believing for a house, um, a home. 
she called me before Thanksgiving and told me that she just had clothes that same day on her home. So what she did, she took the believe in action to make that dream a reality because that's what she was dreaming for. She had been believing for a home for a long time because she was renting and she has a family. So she wanted her family to be in a home, which is understandable because um, I was the same way. My family and I, we lived in an apartment for 10 years, a two bedroom apartment, two bedroom, one bath, very small. Um, we outgrew, we outgrew that apartment. And I told my husband, I was like, we have to start believing for a house, a home, because I wanted my kids to have a yard. I wanted them to have something that, you know, we could call our own. So we had to take the believe in action in order to do what we needed to do in order to bring those, that dream that we had to pass. Um, we had believed for a home many times, but by us not taking the action that was needed in order to get that home, we didn't receive it. Plus, um, my mom passed in 2013. That took a toll out of a lot of things that we had been believing for because that was I was doing a believing board back then also. Uh, my mother-in-law, she passed first. My husband's mom, she passed in June of 2013. My mom passed in October of 2013. So it was just back to back. It was something back to back that year. Um, so it was just a lot going on. Uh, my twins, I just had had my twins in 2012. Uh, so, you know, it was just a lot. But that still, you know, it's it, God still work and bring things to pass for you and bring those blessings to you as long as you believe. We pretty much, my husband and I, I'm not going to say we stopped believing, but we kind of stopped taking action on what it was that we were believing for with our home. So we had to come back and look at what it was that we were doing. In 2018, we purchased our home, June of 2018. So we actually, we knew what we had to do. We had to pay some things off. We had to um, stop spending so much, but you have to know what you want. And when you know what you want, you write it down. The Bible said, write the vision and make it plain across the tables. Vision board is making it plain. When you get a vision board and you cut pictures out, that's what you're believing for. Now in 2020, one of my visions was, um, it says to be health, to be in health and live a healthy lifestyle by eating right, exercising, and enjoying life. All right. I have not exercised. You know, I exercise here and there. I do some walking. Um, my eating right, kind of, sort of. You know, last year especially. I'm doing better this year. But um, enjoying life, yeah, I enjoy life, especially... You know, when the pandemic hit, um, I was able to spend more time with my kids and with my husband, you know. Um, so, you know, that actually had me to really looking at my life. And I know so many other people were looking at their lives. Also, we started praying, asking God to direct our path into what he has for us for this year, for 2020. I mean, for 2021. Uh, even for 2020. So that's where more of my event decor came from. That's where balloon designs came from. Even though I had done balloon designs in the past, I had decorated, I could plan and decorated my mom's birthday party for her 70th birthday party. I did everything myself. So I was doing balloons back then. I was doing tablescapes back then. I was doing event decor back then. I remember when my oldest daughter was one years old. We I planned the party for her, did everything. She had a um a Winnie the Pooh party. I did all that. So this is something that I've been doing for years. It's just that you know how sometimes you get so busy to where you're working so much to where you just get to the point you was like, you know what? You concentrate more on work, you know. 
And then when you get to the point, you're like, okay, I know I got talent. I know I have a vision of doing more in my life, doing more what I, what I love to do. And this is what I love to do. I love to do events. I love to do balloons. I love to do tablescapes. I love to meet new people. I love to help people. Those are the things that I love to do. So 2020, once I had to be able to, to be home with my kids, um, to teach them, even though I worked full time, I was working four hours and my coworker was working four. We was doing four and four. We did half a day. Um, so I was still working, but I still had time to be home with them doing that, you know, when I just worked that four hours and the rest of the time I was at home. But, you know, I was really praying and thinking like, God, what is it that you really want me to do? Because um, we all know that no job is guaranteed. When you're working for somebody, that job is not 100% guaranteed. A lot of times when you're working for yourself, that's not 100% guaranteed either. But you know more of what your business is about. You're doing what you love. You love what you're doing. You're able to put away, uh, you know, if you need to put away money for later, you're able to spend time with your family. You pretty much know your business. Okay. So I just feel like 2020 just helped a lot of us to really sit down and see where it is that we need to be. So when I wrote this vision board, when I did this vision board last year, um, you know, I just wrote some things down here, what I was believing for. Mainly a lot of it was like pictures and things like this. I have one that says I compete with no one. If, if what I do threatens you, that's your problem. That's something that, you know, we can look at and be like, okay, I'm not in competition with anyone. I am who I am. Okay. I also put on here to run in the 5k marathon. I'm not trying to run, run the 5k marathon right now. I need to lose. I need to get fit before I run in a marathon. Uh, that's just personally me. Everything I'm saying is, is me. Okay. Um, so that's just my 2020 vision board. All right. So I've already done my 2021 vision board. And normally I come on here and do a video when, uh, do, when the new year, uh, first start, but this time I was doing something else. So I decided to come on here now. All right, so my 2021 vision board is pretty much where I put all the different things that I'm believing for again. I have my balloons. I have my tablescapes. I have a picture of my family. I have some things that I'm believing for what my, uh, my children are believing for. I have um, different um, sayings. Like um, one of them I found, it says other people may have more talent, education, or experience, but God's favor can cause you to go places you could not go on your own. And that's true. I needed to hear that because I'm a believer. I'm a Christian. I believe in, in God and my big brother, Jesus Christ, you know, um, but sometimes we as Christians, sometimes when we're believing for something, just say a business. And it's been, we've been believing for this business, just say, for instance, two years. And it haven't come to pass yet. It may be in the third or fourth year. And sometimes you get to the point, you're like, okay, God, you know, you see all these other people getting businesses and everything. And you're like, God, I've been believing. I've been praying for this business. Why isn't it coming to pass? But it tells you right here, God's favor can cause you to go places. You cannot go on your own. Sometimes we take things on our own. We don't involve God in a lot of things that we do, especially nowadays, 20, um, this new generation, you know, so many people want things right now. You want it right now. When I was coming up, I didn't get things right now. You know, I had to wait. My mom used to always tell me, she said, you have to wait on that. You have to be patient. And I had to learn that I came up from humble beginnings and, you know, even when I started my YouTube channel, I've been on YouTube now for two years. I started December, 2018. And when I first started, I was not growing. My channel was not growing like I felt like it should be, like I felt like it should be, right? So I told my husband, I was like, forget it. I don't even want to be part of YouTube no more. I'm not getting subscribers. It seemed like I'm just wasting my time. 
And my husband always told me, just like my mom said, he was like, just be patient, Aisha. He said, just wait. He said, maybe it's not your time right now. He said, it's going to come and it's in, in due time. So, you know, me, I was listening for a little while. And then I waited probably a month, 30 days. I was like, forget it. I don't even want to be a part of this no more. And then he said the same thing. So then I started praying, which I pray a lot anyway. But, you know, sometimes we don't hear from God because we are in our own head. You know, like, I know this. I, I want this so bad to where you can't hear what God is saying to you. In order to hear what God is saying to you, you have to be quiet. The Bible said, be still and know. So I had to learn to be still and let God speak to me. Even though my husband was talking to me, even though my mom told me the same thing, my mom has passed. But when, you know, when I was living with her, even when I was in college, she used to always say, be patient. It's going to be all right. My mom always said, God will make a way somehow. So I had to get out of my own head and stop leaning on my own understanding. And when I did that, I was like, okay, I'm going to go here and I'm going to give it my best. Regardless of, you know, I know my subscribers going to come. And they did. Right now, I'm at like... I think I'm at 656 subscribers. I was believing to be at 1,000 subscribers by December 31st, 2020, but I'm not. So I'm not going to quit YouTube because I'm, I'm not at 1,000 subscribers. No, I'm just going to wait. So many people nowadays, they want things right now. And I know a lot of people, they want, I think the big thing is now, the big thing now is have 1,000 subscribers. Okay, I would like to have a thousand subscribers also, even more, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till it's my time. Right now, it's just not my time because I don't have it. If it were meant for me to have a thousand subscribers by December 31st, guess what? I would have had them. So all I have to do is just put in more work and just continue to do what I do. You know, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, subscribe. Just let people know, all right? So, um... Just be humble. Be grateful and be thankful for what you have right now. Because as you be humble, grateful, and thankful, it's all the same thing. But when you be humble and believe God, trust him, he will bring it to pass. No matter what it is that you're believing for. You have to believe. Believing equals what? Action. If you believe for something, even though you write it down on poster board, paper, whatever it is. If you don't take action behind that, then you won't see it. And when I say action, if I want, you know, I want a thousand subscribers. So I got to take action behind that, make great content videos, continue to put my all in everything that I do, and knowing that my subscribers are going to come. That's just like what I put here on my believing board. You know, I got to make this happen. Like I said, last year on my 2020 believing board, I did not take action on a lot of things that I had on this board because of a lot of things that were going on in 2020. You know, the pandemic, a lot of things hit, but it was me also. I did not take the, the action behind it, you know, but what I did, I started talking to God, believing God, trusting him and asking him to direct my path. Okay. And spending more time with my kids and my family. I have a degree in education, a mind in psychology. So I was able to come here and teach my kids, even though, like I said, I work full time. So I worked four hours and my coworker for work for, it was like four and four. So I only did like four hours and I could come home and, you know, teach them and do what I need to do here with them. So I worked four hours and the other four hours, I was able to come home and spend time with my girls, my husband, and just enjoy, okay, uh, with them and just take time out and do what I need to do here as a wife and a mom. So... My whole thing is just to tell you just to be patient. Wait, there's no rush in what it is that you're believing for. You believe it, you take action on it, and you wait on God. Because he promised to provide. He promised to bring those things to pass that you're believing for. Um, another thing that I have here on my 2021 vision board, I put, I expect to be successful. What is it that you expect? You have to tell God, I expect you to do such and such, such, such. Because that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to ask. He wants us to believe. He wants us to pray. And he wants us to trust him. 
So I put here, I, I expect to be successful. I am blessed. You are the power. There's greatness in the power of I am. What it is that you believe in to do. Um, you know, like I said, I am blessed. I am prosperous. Speak to yourself daily and say, I am whatever it is that you want to be. I am, I have whatever it is that you want to have. And you just keep saying that over and over again. And it eventually get in your head. And what's in your head and your mind, eventually you'll start believing that. That's why we are to believe more positive things than negative things. Because when we believe more positive things, more positive things we start seeing come to pass in our lives. If we believe in the negative things, we'll see more negative things come to pass in our lives. We don't want that. Who wants the negative? You don't want the negative. You want the positive. So feed your mind with positive things. Be around positive people. Like myself, I don't like being around negative people and the negative things. I like being around the positive because more of the positives I feed into my head, more of it that, you know, is coming back to me. And that's just the, that's pretty much the power of manifestation is what you manifest it. What you manifest is what you get more of. Something else I had on here is God has the most amazing plan for you. I crossed out you and said me because I'm talking about me. And that's not being selfish. That's just what I'm believing. I believe for my family. I pray for my family, my friends, my coworkers, everyone, um, you know, but this one says, God has the most amazing plan for me because I'm believing that. Okay. And like I said, some other things here that I put on my board and that's what you do. You put on your board what it is that you're believing for. We all are different. We all have different dreams. We all have different goals. We all have all have different mindsets. So whatever it is that you believe in for, for you, your household, that's what you put on your board, whether it's a piece of paper whether it's on your hand, whatever, you know, wherever you write it, you know what? If you can just vision it in your mind, take a picture of it in your phone. That's what I do. I take a picture of it and it's on my phone. All right. And I have some other believing boards that I've done a couple of years ago. Another thing that I use is <clears throat> I have this, um, what is this? Like a little note, a personal notebook. And it says, I am thankful for. If you've been following me a while, you know that me and my family would attend uh, a household fellowship. Um, it's where we do Bible study in the home. And one of the ladies there, she had made this for everyone. She gave each and every one of us a personal notebook. And it says, I am thankful for. And she said, each day, write down what you're thankful for. Therefore, when you write down what you're thankful for, all of that other stuff that you feel like you should have or you feel like that God is not doing something as fast as you think he should when you write down in your notebook what you're thankful for go and look at it every day when you're feeling down or you feel like you know you're not worthy or whatever it is and you open this up and you see and you read what God has done and what you're thankful for those things this that's when all the positive vibes and positive things about you know what god has done what he will do is start taking out all the negative things that that is in your mind right another thing i'm going to be using this year is this um expandable file and what i'm going to be doing with this i'm going to be organizing because i haven't really been organizing very well lately so i went and purchased this i think this was at oh wow i don't even know where i bought i think it was at walmart but I saw this and I love it because it's a beautiful color. I love gold, as you see the gold color here. So I'm going to be using this to do more organi organization. I also had this that my husband purchased for me last year. And it's a 2020 Deluxe Planner. Um, I'm looking for another one for this year. So I love this because it has that marble color and plus it has this gold. So, you know, I'm a, I love gold. That is so pretty. But um, this one I had for last year. And I did, I can't say I did well with it because I started, let me show you how it looks on the inside. Uh, I have some things written down, but it kind of looks like this. It has some pages like this. All right. And let me see. I'm trying to find one where I did not. Okay, this one had it right on. Okay, so this was May of 2020. And you see how the... Um, everything looks here 
and it's wide enough for me to write in. So I started writing down what I was going to do, like a schedule for YouTube, um, what I was going to upload, what I was going to, you know, what video I was going to upload. So I'm looking for another one of these, but this is what I had last year. All right. I also have this, and this is what I bought for my daughter years ago. She never used it. So guess what? I took it. And it says, do what you love. It said, do what you love and love what you do. And I just love the color because the color is so nice. All right. Okay. And then I just have some regular, just like notebook. And this is what I use to write in different things. I also had a 2020 um, calendar and I have a 2021 one. And so what I do, I just use this. This one here has... Um, like inspirations on it and i love inspirations and this is what i was just writing different things in um and i write like scriptures and things like that so um oh it's something else i want to show you all right so those are just some things that you can use to write down your thoughts write down you know if you need to get organized you can use that to start all right something else that my kids and my husband bought me for christmas this year because they know i love inspiration anything that has inspirations on it anything that has uplifting words or anything like that i love all right so this is one of them as you see right here and i'm going to be putting this in my office i am redoing my office um so i'm going to be using this and it says when you feel like quitting remember why you started when you feel like quitting remember why you started that's true um a lot of times when we either in business starting youtube whatever it is that we make what we doing we need to have a why okay when you know your why then you, it won't be so easy to quit because you know that you have a why whether it's your family, your kids, your grandkids, your husband, even yourself. You don't want to quit on yourself. You know, so um, I love this and it's true. Another one that they bought me and these came from, I think, Hobby Lobby. But another one that they bought me is this. This is another one. And I'm going to be putting this in my office also. And it says, today I will do what other, today I will do what other others want. So tomorrow I can do what others can't. Let me read that again. Today I will do what others won't. So tomorrow I can do what others can't. So if you start today doing what it is that you believe in to do, whether it's opening a business, whether it's starting a YouTube channel, whether it's getting your finances together, whatever it may be, start today. And you can do what others won't do. Because there's some people who won't start it. There's some people who won't just start a YouTube channel. For whatever reason it may be, it may be fear. Fear will stop a lot of people in their track. It tried to stop me. It really did. It tried to stop me. Because just because you're a Christian person does not mean that you don't have fear. Because fear comes up. You just have to know that when fear comes, the, the power of uh, the power and authority that God has given us will uh, knock out or cast down all of that fear because God said he's there with you always. Fear can't stand if you believe. Fear can't stand if you say, you know what? God has given me this talent. God has given me this to do. So I'm going to do this instead of listening to, the, to what fear is saying. Okay? So, um, that's pretty much what I want to come on here and talk to you all about. I just want to let you know about vision. I want to let you know about patience. I want to update you about my channel, um, all those things. And I just thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel. Uh, thank you all so much for um, liking my videos, commenting. I have a lot of people who comment on my videos. I do comment back. Um, and I just thank you so much. I hope that you all have an amazing 2021. Um, and like I said, I will be changing my name soon. So you all will be seeing that. Um, and I also will be adding some DIYs. Mainly this channel will be Inventicore. 
balloon designs, tablescapes. But occasionally I will have DIYs. And I'm also thinking about, I used to have something that I did on my channel called Tuesday Inspirations, where I bring to you inspirations every Tuesday. Um, but I had stopped doing that. Um, so if that's something that you want to see here on my channel, let me know. And I can kind of probably do maybe one a month because right now I upload once a week. I'm not going to try to do too many videos because I do not want to overwhelm myself. I tried that one time and I was so overwhelmed. My husband, my kids, everyone was saying, Aisha, just stop. Give it a break. You know, my husband was like, maybe you need to narrow it down to one video a week. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing one video a week. But um, if you want to, you know, see more inspirations here on my channel, I can um, figure out a way I can add that because I love inspirations. I love hearing inspirations um, and I love, like I said, positive minds and positive people. So if that's something you want to hear, just make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know and um, we can figure out how to put it here on the channel. All right. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you all have an amazing 2021 and I will see you all in my next video.